Hello Andy. So this is your day pack, backpack. And I thought I would make a video and explain it to you rather than write it all up in an email. So when you're wearing it like this, um, you don't have access to that much. There's not much going on in the front. Um, that's something I'd love to build on in the next iteration. But there is a tractable tape measure up here. So you can pull it out and measure stuff or use it as a reference in photos. And then there's a button, press and it retracts. And it's also just kind of held on with Velcro. So you could also put other things in. Then take it off. And you can see that the back has some of the spacer fabric on it that you sent me. So it makes it a bit more breathable. Because otherwise the whole uh, piece of it here is actually this vinyl kind of uh, fabric that wraps all the way around. From the outside, you have access to this quick access pocket up here. You can just unzip it. Then so we've got wallet, cell phone. Then we've got a netted pouch here that fits a breadboard. So you can actually prototype on it from the outside. And I've got these two rings that are intended for hanging up the day pack. And I'd also like for them in the next iteration to be what you can use to close the flap. Um, for now, as a quick solution, I've added this kind of clasp here. So on the rings here, I've um, sewn on bits of thermochromic fabric that will change color with heat, so a blue and a purple one. So you can undo the clasp. And there's one more kind of pouch under here. It's the biggest pouch on the bag. And it's got like a hat, tape, multimeter. And then if you want to open the main pocket of the bag, there's a Velcro closing. And then there's these drawstrings at all sides. You can actually just kind of open it up and have access into it to get things. Then when you want to hang it up, you can take these two rings. And if you're out in the wild, you can use a strap like this to kind of hook them and tie it around a tree or a branch. And in my studio, I've just got two nails in the wall so I can come in and hang it up in the morning. Um, then to open out the bag, um, there's two zippers here and here. And I originally intended for them to open this way, to zip them down. But the way I've sewn them on now, they open up like this. It's not, not too long. And then it just kind of falls down like this. And you can pull these um, drawstrings and open the curtains. So at the top, there's another breadboard on the inside. And then there's a zipper um, you can use to access that same quick access pouch at the outside, cell phone and wallet. And down here, there's uh, lots of pockets. Um, there's a big uh, pocket intended for kind of flat things like your journal. And what I was thinking was that cutting that material that you had with you, something like a kind of rigid plastic, if you could take one of those and cut it to the exact size of this pouch, and it could fit in here and give it some rigidity, but you could also take it out and use it, and it could be make it better for storing things that should stay flat. So then on here, some pockets for snacks, the lighter, massage oil, a uh, hook for your keys or for anything with a ring on it. And the heavier tools or, or kind of more to the bottom of the bag. So here's a pocket with soldering iron, uh, wire strippers. And they're also uh, kind of sized so that you can fit in these smaller tackle boxes in these pouches. So keep all your small parts. And then this is something maybe you can try out on your hike. It's intended to be a solder surface for building small projects. So the, the floor of it is a capped on film that can take high temperatures. And then this pink fabric is a silk and cotton blend that also withstands heat. 
So the idea is you could build your project on here and solder on the surface, and the edge keeps small parts from disappearing. And if you need to kind of pack up the project quickly, you can kind of pull the drawstring and kind of pack it away like this. And this pouch, this is the floor of the bag. And inside here, we have kind of a roll-up pool organizer. So this is intended for kind of long, skinny objects. And this flap kind of protects anything that's got a sharp end. And the Velcro on the back here, means you can hang it up here. Access things like a screwdriver, file. And then this pouch also becomes, you can store other things here. The soldering iron. Then below that, there's kind of a hidden zipper. Um, and this is, again, access to this pouch that you also have access to from the outside. So in here I've got the multimeter my hat. And below that, this is the thread wrap. So it kind of velcros down and you can pull it all the way off. And um, so there's the thread. And on this version, I've sewn it down on one end. And this end, there's velcro. So when you need to change the thread, you can take them out. Um, here's a pouch. There's a needle cushion inside, store pins and needles. And here's a place where you can store chips in this kind of anti-static foam under here, and the flap keeps them from falling out. So this can either just kind of fall down and hang here, or you can take it off, hang it one down further, so it doesn't obscure any of these pouches. Or you can also Hang your tools down the bottom and the thread up the top. So the pockets underneath the, the thread rack are be most best intended, best used for kind of flat materials. So the you know, copper tape or some, uh, conductive fabric, some thermochromic fabric. And then under here there's a series of pockets that have kind of an overhang so even if when the bag and this is hanging and they're hanging upside down, the things don't fall out. So it means you have to kind of feed the items in there. There's a small breadboard, some alligator clips. Little jars and mochas in it. Then when you want to close it up, you just have to make sure that the zippers are all closed. And uh, you can wrap up your tool wrap, roll up your tool organizer, vote that away, fix the thread wrap back. And then to close it, you can lift this up and you can actually velcro it down. Or you can kind of just hold it and put the lips down. And I haven't actually added any extra security here where the zipper closes. So I'm hoping it's not going to just start opening by itself. It doesn't feel like it is, so I didn't bother adding another, yet another fastener to close. But something to pay attention to when you're hiking around it. Nothing's falling out there. So I hope it fits you. It fits me quite perfectly. But it's adjustable and it's in length here. And I wish you a really, really nice hiking hack, and I wish I could be with you.